Welcome to Old School Chemistry. We're going to do a gene main exam question on electrochemistry. Really cool. This comes from the August 26, 2021 test, 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. Let's go ahead and read the question together. It's question 11. It says, what is the cell potential for the following cell? And so they give us the battery notation on this particular cell. And then they give us the standard reduction potentials for both of the species in the reaction. Um, and it wants us to report this uh, cell potential to the nearest integer. So a couple of things to write down. Let's first figure out what is this reaction? What's this electrochemical reaction? Uh, so interpreting this, remember we always write the uh, reactant, then the product, and you always write the anode and then the cathode. The anode is what's oxidized, that's going to be the zinc. The cathode is what's reduced, that's going to be the copper. If you need to check that, uh, go ahead and look at this with me. The oxidation number on zinc is a zero to begin with, the reactant, and then the oxidation number on this product is a two plus. Going from a zero to a two plus oxidation number, it loses electrons, which means it's oxidation. For those of you who are used to my teaching, you know that little saying, Leo the lion says grr, Leo, lose electrons oxidation. So zinc is oxidized. If you wanna double check it on uh, the copper, so we have our reactant has a two plus oxidation number, and then on the product has a zero. Two plus to zero, it just gained two electrons, uh, gain electrons, GER, gain electrons reduction. Nice, so writing this down, let's uh, look at our electrochemical equation. Here's your zinc as the reactant, and then the copper two plus as the reactant. And that's going to yield the zinc two plus ion uh, plus the copper solid right here, nice. Um, now, with that in our mind, we can now go to the Nernst equation. We are at non-standard conditions, and there's one way I know this. It's because of these concentrations. Remember, standard conditions are going to be one molar. It's when we're at 25 degrees C, one ATM, or one bar, um, and at one molar. We're not at one molar, which means we're at non-standard conditions, so we have to use the Nernst equation to find the cell potential at non-standard um, non conditions. Notice, we don't have that little circle, it's called not. We don't have that not. That not indicates standard conditions. We're at non-standard conditions. So E is the cell potential at non-standard conditions. Uh, our formula is E naught, it's the cell potential at standard conditions, minus RT over NF times the natural log of Q. Let's review all of these. Um, so we're going to have R, that is your uh, gas constant, 8.304 joules divided by mole times Kelvin. I know to use this rather than the 0.0821, um, 0 0.0802, no, yeah, 21, sorry, um, because I'm not dealing with pressure, I'm dealing with energy, so I need the joules right here. Uh, temperature, we're going to assume that we're at 25 degrees C because they didn't give us that information. So 298 Kelvin. Uh, N is the moles of electrons that are gained or lost. We are going to here lose two electrons, which means the copper gains two electrons. So uh, in this particular situation, two electrons are going to be lost and then gained, two total electrons. F, Faraday's constant, and that's the 96,485 coulombs per um, mole of electron. Now Q, this is going to be our um, I guess it's really right here is at equilibrium. This is going to be the ratio of products over reactants at this non-standard condition, these non-standard conditions. So very similar to our equilibrium constant, but the equilibrium constant is when we're at equilibrium. Well, we're at non-standard conditions. We know that we're not at equilibrium. This is going to be what's the ratio of products over reactants in these non-standard conditions. Uh, so it's simply products. There's my aqueous. Remember, we don't use solid or liquids when we're doing our equilibrium expression. Um, so my aqueous um, zinc, it has a one coefficient, therefore I'd have a one exponent divided by my copper ion right there. Um, okay, nice. Now the last thing that we have to find in all of this is that E naught. Um, so at standard conditions, what I've taught my students is whatever's oxidized, you take your standard reduction potential table. Notice, let me back up this second. Notice, 
these are all written as reduction. So a zinc two plus going to an oxidation number of zero. This is reduction. This is written as reduction. We have reduction tables. Um, so when you want to find the E naught, the cell potential at standard conditions, you simply take whatever's oxidized, in this case the zinc, change the sign. I say you flip it, flip that sign. Uh, whatever's reduced, you keep that because it's written as reduction, and then you simply add those together. So we have the 0.76 plus 0.34, and at standard conditions, that potential is going to be a 1.1. It's going to be a 1.1. Nice. Um, so now we can plug and check. We're just going to put everything in. So we have E is 1.1 volts. That's our standard um, potential um, when we're at one molar each, our standard conditions. And then we plug in this slew of information. Here's my R, T, N, remember two moles of electrons, my Faraday's constant, and then natural log of Q is going to be my zinc, my zinc was, I come back up here, the 0.4 divided by copper, which was 0.02, excuse me, 0.04 divided by 0.02. Plug everything in and we're going to get 1.1 volts minus 0 0.008899 volts. Now look at units with me here. Okay, the mole of electron is going to cancel. The uh, Kelvin is going to cancel. Remember, this is unit less. Okay, that's going to be unit less on our Q. Uh, what you end with right here is going to be joules per coulomb. Well, remember, a joule per coulomb is per mole, okay, per mole. This is understood to be per mole. Joule per coulomb is what? That is a volt. Uh, so you have your volt minus your volt. Always check those units. Always check your units. They'll ensure that you did it correctly. So when you put this math in, you get 1.09 volts. Um, so this potential, they wanted us to round to the nearest integer, is going to be a one. It's going to be a one. Nice. Okay. Very good. Love electrochemistry. Cool. So proud of you. Keep working hard. You're going to do great on that test. Good luck. Thanks.